Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a nice easy project. This sign is from the Dollar Tree. It's a doorknob sign. And many of these other items are also from the Dollar Tree. This pack of sandpaper, it's absolutely great. You get a ton for a dollar. And for my acrylic paint, I have been collecting for the last couple of months. So a lot of my paint is really random. Some of this I don't think is even in the store anymore. I try to only use folk art paint, but I think I have a couple other ones that are not. Now this paint isn't from the dollar store, but it is pretty cheap. And I also got some ribbon, and the burlap is also from the Dollar Tree. So it's really great. And so is the jute. And the tacky glue, I used my coupon, you got it from Michael's. And the hot glue is also from Michael's as well. You're also going to need paint brushes, a pencil, and a scissors. You will also need 100% acetone nail polish remover to help you remove some of the ink and the glitter from the sign so the painting is a lot easier. I'm not going to be too worried about getting every little thing off, but the glitter needs to come off as much as possible. After the nail polish remover, I went over it with the sandpaper just to help the paint stick a little bit better. I tried it without sanding it and it didn't work very well. I'm going to start off with this yellow lemon custard. Now I'm going to do two layers of this yellow custard. And I probably should have put white down first, but I didn't. Yep, this is uh, this is two layers of that yellow. It's definitely patchy. I should have put white down first. And it does say let dry for one hour between coats. Let cure for 48 hours. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. So, I put the light yellow over top of the yellow custard. So, three coats all together. It's pretty smooth. I did sand it down afterwards. And the other side, I did the coral. This will be a two-way sign. Now, if you're anything like me, I hate my handwriting. So I'm going to transfer this onto my surface. And even though I transferred it, it's still a little sloppy. But I did my best. It, the, it, it gets the job done. I'm going to go over this with the blue. Well, the correct name is called Surfside, but that works. I'm going to use this and fill in the word spring and then lightly sandpaper the whole thing once it has dried for a whole hour. Now for the other side, I'm going to do Hello Summer. This is a perfect transition and there we go I'm going to use custard yellow first and then the lighter yellow and then once I realized that uh, it's still looking a little too pink I filled in the top and bottom with white and then I also did the back side as well I like how this looks it's so much better it was just looking so unfinished without another color in there. Next, I'm going to put the burlap on the bottom and the ribbon as well. Now, I did forget to record this next part. I don't know why, but I did. Even though I forgot to record a couple of parts, you can still see what I did. I think this looks really cute, not just on your doorknob, but even in the doorway. Now I even did a farmhouse style one, which I like a whole lot more. And I think this one turned out perfect. The stencil is from the Dollar Tree. It's so simple. I just love the layout of this one. 
and it looks even better outside. You can walk up to the door and it's right there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you would like to see more from me, please let me know. Like and subscribe and hit that bell and hopefully we can see you next time. Thank you everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Bye bye. I'm so sorry you guys, I totally forgot to tell you, these signs are made out of compressed cardboard. Do not put them somewhere where they can get soaked, and if you put them outside, please clear coat them so they can be protected. Okay, bye bye